As women, you inspire others and set a standard worthy of emulation. Let me give you a little background on two of the major announcements made at our last general conference. You, my dear sisters, were key to each. First, ministering. The supreme standard for ministering is that of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Generally, women are and always have been closer to that standard than men. When you are truly ministering, you follow your feelings to help someone else experience more of the Savior's love. The inclination to minister is inherent in righteous women. I know women who pray every day. Whom wouldst thou have me help today? Before the April 2018 announcement about the higher and holier way of caring for others, the tendency of some men was to check off their home teaching assignment as done and move on to the next task. But when you sensed that a sister you were visiting teaching needed help, you responded immediately and then throughout the month. Thus it was how you visit taught that inspired our upward shift to ministering. Second, in the last general conference, we also restructured Melchizedek priesthood quorums. When we wrestled with how to help the men of the Church be more effective in their responsibilities, we carefully considered the example of the Relief Society. In Relief Society, women in various ages and stages of life meet together. Each decade of life brings unique challenges, and yet there you were, week after week, mingling together, growing and teaching the gospel together, and making a real difference in the world. Now, following your example, Melchizedek priesthood bearers are members of the Elders Quorum. These men range in age from 18 to 98, maybe more, with equally wide-ranging priesthood and church experiences. These brethren can now create stronger fraternal linkages, learn together, and bless others more effectively. <clears throat> 